All right, a little walk around the shop. We're just uh, mixing some beans here, and we've got a new coffee roaster waiting to be installed. All right, what else have we got? We've got some machines ready to go out. That's the afterburner. And this is our little front of shop. Now, I just thought I'd do a little video today on what to do if your steamer is blocked. You're getting no steam. What do you do? What's the first step? Hey guys, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're just here at the factory. Uh, we've got a little uh, little surgery. We serve coffee in the morning, and I just wanted to show you how to deal with a uh, blocked steam arm. Now the first um, first thing you need to attack is the nozzle, and a lot of people probably realize, don't realize that the nozzle will actually come off. So let's have a look. All right, so here we've got the steam nozzle, and the tip actually comes off. Yeah, if you can see there, it's got a little indentation, and you can actually get a shifter on there. Um, these can be stuck. I mean, you can see the barista here hasn't hasn't cleaned it all off. Uh, so there's a couple of ways you can uh, clean these nozzles. One is get some hot water. And just soak it in there. You don't really need more than hot water. Um, and then you should be able to blow out anything that, any milk that's stuck in the uh, in the jets. Now if that doesn't work, option number two is remove that. So to remove it, first you don't want to scratch the stainless or chrome. So it's always good to put paper or cloth around. You want to hold on to that tight. Now this one's got little indentation like I said, so we can get a shifter on there. And we can just Remove that like so. All right. So have a look at this. So see this stuff there. That can be calcium build up from the boiler. It can even be a little bit of the the rubber in the valve usually it's calcium it feels like calcium it's hard okay so clean it out that way and then either with a toothpick or I've got this special tool here you can then just poke it you don't want to make the holes bigger and poke it like that clean the inside and then put it back on now if that's not enough you can soak you can soak that in a little bit of coffee cleaner as well uh, just got to be careful with the coffee cleaner make sure you have the machine on don't turn the machine off because you don't want to accidentally get the coffee cleaner sucked into the boiler so always do this with the machine on um, so after we've soaked it in water clean the nozzle should be able to clean it out and it looks to me like it's unblocked all right short little video thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and um, share my videos and jump on the website and order some coffee we'll send it out helps us and I'll keep doing videos thanks guys